So I'm at the main hide at the spinnies, um, but we've spotted there's a couple of little egrets um, that have just flown away. <laughs> Typical. Um, but we've spotted a kingfisher um, just in this left hand bush, the thorn bush. Um, he's come and he's just shot off again. Um, it's a female, I think. I think it's a female. Um, but she, yeah, she shot off, so we're just waiting for her to return. So um, as soon as I get it, I'll, I might not be able to film this if she returns. I'll just shoot her as quick as I can, um, and I'll put the resulting images on the screen for you. Oh, oh, there she is now. She's diving. She's diving.
this is one of the most populated, I think, in Anglesey of red squirrels. So um, that's the plan. But on the way to find the red squirrels, I've come across this little section of the waterfalls and the little river that runs through the nature reserve. There's some beautiful birds around as well, but I'm not going to come off uh, off target. I'm going to find these squirrels and I'm going to photograph this lovely little weir, I think it is, as it runs down. I've got the tripod I'm using for wildlife now with the uh, gimbal head on. So unfortunately, the way the uh, 810 is set up, I have to use it like that. So if you just look on the screen, that's what I'm looking at on the screen. And I'm using different lengths of exposure. I'm just creating something that I like. Pop that on the screen now, the results, and we'll head off and look for these red squirrels. <laughs> I've just seen one of the red squirrels. Unfortunately, idiot had my camera in my bag. Um, so I've learned by that one. Just eyes are everywhere now because I've seen him. So there are, it's supposed to be the most highest density of red squirrels in Anglesey, other than Nubra Forest. So, but for now, the hunt for the red squirrel continues. So I'll get you back on when, we, when we've seen one and when I've got a shot. So I've noticed they're like really really fast in the trees and the only way to capture them is when they're foraging. So I've managed to capture managed to capture this little fella. This area here seems to be where they're feeding a lot and where they're foraging in there. So when they're still in the foraging, that's when you can capture them. Um, I would like the obvious shot where it's clinging onto a leafy tree trunk. Amazing. Fingers crossed we've got a fair way to go yet, so we might capture one, I don't know.
really dodgy down here. For every time a Mutsal stack switches just round that corner there. I always like to come to this little bay that I found a good few years ago now. And uh, I'll put up a picture now of what it used to look like at sunset six, seven years ago now. So, oh, let me get this off. So it's always uh, a difficult descent down to this one. So if you are going to come here, just be very careful. Um, the height you come down on these little sheep tracks, but you are blessed with this when you get down the bottom. Be cool. So I'm going to take a shot of this. The rain's coming and going. So I'm not going to vlog me taking the shot, I'm just going to take one. Um, in the summer when it gets a bit better, I am going to go myself on this little ridge here and take a shot looking down that way and see what I can get because there's cool cliffs around the side there. So, but for now, this is the viewpoint I'm going to safely stick to because it's really damp on the foot. I'll get this shot and then we're going to head off and look for some little owls. Now, I'm not promising this, it's getting dusk. Um, there is no sunset, it's too cloudy. But I'm gonna take this shot anyway because I just love it in all different conditions. Um, and you can't always get a portfolio shot every time you come out, it's just not happening. So, uh, but I wanna get a shot anyway, I love it. So I'll do this and then we're gonna head over to some old barns and try and capture these little well, little owls they're called. So, uh, fingers crossed. If not, I've had a great day anyway. Got those red squirrels. Uh, got some nice birds this morning, the woodpecker, kingfishers. So yeah, it's been a great day. Um, so I'll put this shot on now, and then I'll meet you over at the barns. Annoyingly, I'm like so angry. So, the abandoned farm where the uh, little owls were nesting was just there. And as you can see now, they've demolished the, uh, the shed on the left and started to build their own whatever it is, uh, high storage or something. Um, so really annoyingly, it's a no-go. So, yeah. There are people over there as well, um, in little units like caravans and stuff, so you probably wouldn't take too kindly with me going over, so that's the end of that one. Um, but there is a guy, a lovely guy called Hugh Rowlands. Check him out on Facebook. Um, met him today, regards the red squirrels. And go and have a look at him, go and give him a follow and a like. And he has put me on to some other owls um, and possibly an osprey. So I'm going to go and check those out, but not today because the sun's going down. So it'll be another trip out here, probably next week. Thank you for the tip, uh, you. And for everyone else, I'll catch you next week. Hopefully on a drier day. And we'll go and try and find those little owls and uh, do some landscape photography at the Church in the Sea. So, thanks very much. Subscribe, like, share. Bye for now.